Drew over here. In 2014, if I remember right, you tore your ACL against Northwestern. Did you go on the bowl trip? Yeah, I was there. I okay. Came, I came late, yeah. What are, what are your memories of watching that from the sideline? Well, I remember wishing I was out there. Um, <laughs> uh, electric game, winning it, game winning field goal. Um, I remember just the season we had had going undefeated and then kind of sliding there at the second half of the season, and it was a great win for our team, and it was super exciting. In, uh, Coach Kelly was just talking about uh, a little bit about he thought the team was not physically fatigued but mentally and emotionally maybe a little bit worn down in November. Do you, uh, do you agree with that? And if so, you know, what could have been maybe done differently to avoid that? Yeah, I think any way you dice it up, it was a long season, right? Um, having not gone to a bowl the season before, you start your preparation for the next season earlier, and uh, we got after it in winter conditioning and spring ball and, and fall camp and into this season. And I mean, when you look at it, you know, for the last 16, we play are in the top 25, and so um, it's emotionally draining uh, getting yourself up to those games and, and being able to perform at your best. Um, and, and preparing mentally and, and taking in a new game plan each and every week, knowing the stakes um, of each game, it, it, de it definitely wears on you. And I think uh, showed a little bit at the end of the season and guys being tired. Drew, you, you've seen like this year, you look at the Georgia game, Stanford game, some of the teams that really like to kind of line up in some traditional sets and, and run at you. That's kind of been when your game has been at, at its best. What about your game? What about your style, that style of play that has really allowed you to bring out your best? Are you talking about me personally? Yeah, you personally, yeah. Um, I mean, I think just the, the physicality I love to play with, um, the downhill um, approach I, I like to have to my game in terms of attacking teams downhill, um, being physical on the run uh, and the pass game. Um, I, I, I think um, when you look at those games, they're all against, you know, big opponents. I love to, um, I love to perform against each and every opponent, but... Um, Coach Kelly always says players have to make plays um, in those games and in our conditioning this off season, like I think always before this season it was kind of like you know we've got a lot of great players around like someone will make that play but for me my mentality all throughout this year was like I have to be the guy to make that play I have to make that play and I think I try to translate that in those games and so um, I was able to, to make some plays but we had guys making plays all over the field. Obviously, when Coach Elko first got here, you, I think first couple practices in the spring, you were still playing on the back end, obviously moved down. Now that you're kind of finished the regular season, you're able to kind of step back. What do you feel sort of that position change and change of scheme was able to do for, for your game, obviously? Um, I mean, I think it brings out my traits a little more um, in terms of my combination of size and speed and, and strength and being able to disrupt receivers um, and knock them off their routes. Um, being able to be destructive on the edges in terms of allowing them not to get the ball on the perimeter. Um, and it allows me also to come off the edge to blitz um, and to get pressure on the quarterback. So it allows me to do a lot of different things that you know you weren't necessarily doing as a hash safety. Uh, I'm kind of asking you to speak for yourself and your, and your teammates a little bit as a captain, but when, when you look at a game like this against LSU, and, and obviously I know you guys wanted, would like what most teams want to be in the playoffs and those kind of things, playing for a title, but what does a game like this for LSU present to you guys for, as far, from an opportunity standpoint? What, what does a win like, the, if, you know, if you were able to win, play well, what does it say about your season? Does it change your season? Does it not? I mean, kind of what, I guess, big picture, what opportunities do you guys have when you have a game like this against an opponent like LSU? Yeah, it's a huge opportunity. I don't think it's going to make or break or define our season. Um, I think when you look historically, the SEC has been dominant over the past 10 years. And so to have an opportunity to go against a second SEC opponent this year, um, they're going to be physical. They're going to be tough. They're going to have playmakers all over the field, and we're going to have to match that. Um, and so it's an incredible opportunity on that end for us to cap off our season and get a 10th win. Um, I think that's important for us and important to send out our seniors that way. True, right up here. Um, is there an excitement to have a matchup against LSU? Just the the fact that, as you mentioned, an SEC team, and you guys obviously have seen what they've done over the years. Is is there a is there an excitement to to go up against a team like that? Yeah, I, I don't. I'll say this lightly because I I grew up loving Auburn, so I don't like LSU, and so I always grew up. My parents always raised me not to like LSU, and so to you know to have the opportunity to go against them. Um, you know, it's an honor, and I, I really look forward to it. They're a great football team historically when you look at it. 
Um, and, you know, they started this season rough, but they're really hitting a hot streak and one of the better teams in college football right now. So it's an exciting opportunity, and I'm looking forward to it. I know you didn't play in that game, but but you were there, and obviously you saw what happened going into 2015. How how, how much did that win over LSU boost the team going into the off season and heading into 2015? I think it just built a lot of confidence. I think a lot of guys didn't have a lot of confidence heading into that game, and coming out when you see you can beat a quality opponent in a, in a first round draft pick in Leonard Fournette, I think it gave a lot of guys confidence heading into the next season. Do you think this team needs that going into next year with the way the last month has gone? Um, I, don't, I don't think we necessarily lack confidence right now as much as guys got a little worn out down the stretch. Um, and so I don't know that we need a boost per se. I think it's just a great opportunity to go out and get a 10th win. Obviously, big picture, 9-3 and three from where you guys were was a, a great achievement. But is there a disappointment with the way the, the last month played out of, to the season? Um, I don't think... I mean, obviously, we wanted to be in the playoffs. That was our goal heading into this season. Um, that was our mission. It's what we set out for ourselves to win national championships and graduate our players. And so, you know, you have higher goals for yourself, but um, I don't know that disappoint, disappointing is the right word. Drew, yeah, I'm sure you've seen in college football there's a, I wouldn't say a trend, but some guys will pass on the bowl game to, you know, preserve their, their NFL future. Do you sort of get that perspective as a player? Is it something you would even entertain? I don't know that for me personally it's something I would entertain. I don't know even if I was projected the top pick in the draft, it, it might be something I'd entertain. Granted, I'm not in those shoes. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not in those shoes. Um, there's a lot, yeah. Um, it's, an, it's an interesting idea, but I think me personally, like the pride I have for the university and the opportunity they've given me, I don't know that that's necessarily something that I would want on my record. Um, but then again, guys, it's a business decision. I don't think it's anything against the university or against their teammates. I think when you look at it um, from a financial standpoint, it makes sense for some guys. Um, but yeah, I don't think it's anything against the university. I think it's more of a business decision. And some of those guys probably hate to make that decision, but they see it as the best opportunity for themselves. I mean, so you, you get the decision, even if that's not a decision you would make yourself. Yeah, I, I think I understand what some guys are doing when they do that. Um, I mean, if you look at a guy, a, a close friend of mine, a teammate like, like Jalen Smith, um, guys are going to point to that and like see what happened there. Um, so, I mean, I understand it, yeah. I'm assuming that you put your name in for feedback from the underclassmen committee. Like, yeah. What do you want to find out from that? What I can get better on, um, what they perceive as my strengths or weaknesses. Um, I believe now they've changed it to first, second, or come back. Um, so we'll see what they say, uh, just to get some feedback. And is that something that would guide your decision a whole lot? or? Um, I don't know that that necessarily will. Um, obviously, it's feedback, and you'll take all the feedback you can get. Thanks. Anything else? All right. Thanks, guys. Awesome.